Hey lovelies, good morning, good Monday morning, um, because all you kids are probably just getting up. <laughs> um, today I just want to go over uh, with you the websites that were recommended by the district. I did see some of the posts that you guys were making about paywalls and accessibility, so I just want to go over them with you. If you use the links that are here in the post, everything should work just fine, right? And I'm also gonna ask you to take the Savage website review survey in your classrooms, in your individual classrooms in a little while. I haven't posted it yet, it's ready. It took me a really long time to come up with an even remotely applicable title so that Savage could be the acronym, but I did manage to do it, <laughs> all right. So there are nine websites that are recommended by the district and you will see we've got Brain Pop, Science for Kids, Biology for Kids, Physics for Kids, Bill Nye the Science Guy, Science Kids PBS, National Geographic Kids, Wonderopolis, and Breakout Edu, right? So let's just take a look around. So I'm going to guess that some of these are gonna work better on your phone than others. So when you take the survey, it would be really, really helpful if you could let me know. Because I wanna steer away from things that are like, computer-based only because I know a lot of you are using your phones for a lot of things. So if we go on to Brain Pop, there is a uh, button here for you to click to request free access. I don't think you really need that um, because I know that I've clicked on some of these and been able to follow through. So scientific inquiry is a great place for you to start. This is kind of what we talked about at the beginning of the year when you guys were noobs and I was just training you how to act like real scientists and think like real scientists and really just kind of get your thoughts across like real scientists. Because let's face it, you've always been a scientist, right? Um, remember the infamous baby demonstration? Okay, so you've always been a scientist, um, but training you in scientific inquiry, AKA scientific method and measurement, trained you to think about your questions and the sources of those questions and go through a very meticulous, methodical series of steps in order to gather data and find the answers or make conclusions around those initial questions, right? So that would be kind of a cool place for you to start. And you can see that when I click scientific inquiry, it takes me to the inquiry page. And then there's a whole bunch of things for me to think about here. Metric units, lab safety, scientific method, um, some stuff about tools, precision, and stuff like that. So feel free to look at this. Now, some of this you have no idea what it is, like moles and stuff like atomic models, but hey, feel free to take a look at it, right? Knowledge is power and with great power comes great responsibility. So that's brain pop. All right, next let's look at science for kids. Not as splashy and user-friendly looking as brain pop. It's got lots of words, but one thing really stuck out for me. As I look over here in the experiment section, what experiments you say? I see one that says, make your own fake snot. Now, why you would have to do this when you generate plenty of snot on your own is beyond some people's comprehension, but hey, sounds interesting. Next tab, we've got biology for kids. Now, there's nothing super specific here that ties right in with what we've done in class, but you might want to take a look at animal systems and then you can think about how they are similar and different to our own, right? How they are alike and different. We did, in fact, dissect a chicken wing because we realized once we looked at internal diagrams that their parts had a tendency to be somewhat similar. Although the orientation of that skeletal muscular structure on the bird was a little bit different than ours is on our body, we noticed that they had a lot of the same bones in their hands, as well as the same flexors and extensors that we had, right? So you might want to look at that to compare and contrast um, human body systems with animal body systems. Now, physics is a little ahead. Physics for kids, we just, we started talking about waves. We've been doing a little bit with sound um, and I don't specifically see this available to us here. Let's take a look.
if I punch sounds into physics for kids, I get this, right? So you may want to take a look and no, you don't because those are outside websites. Um, but if you want to take a look at the section on light, that's something we're going, we were going to talk about soon and you can kind of preset yourself about that topic. Bill Nye, you know the deal. Great videos, doesn't matter how old they get, um, still super applicable, applicable and entertaining with those snazzy tunes included. And you will see that the videos are here and there's clips and you can just look at anything you want, right? We're well versed in Bill Nye. All right, Science Kids PBS. I'm actually slightly excited about this one, right? There's an elephant toothpaste how-to on the splash page. Everybody's always asking if we can make elephant toothpaste. I am not encouraging you to create a disaster area in your kitchen at home much, but this could be some fun thing for you to do. I highly recommend making a little bit of oobleck because believe it or not, it's a lot less mess than you think it is. And I only have one question about oobleck. Is it a solid? or is it a liquid? If you make oobleck, make sure you comment in the Savage survey and let me know, okay? So there's some cool stuff on PBS Kids, as well as links to a whole bunch of documentaries, which I absolutely cannot get enough of. By the way, if you have Netflix, or is it Hulu, please look up One Strange Rock. It's narrated by Will Smith, and it's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah. You want to look at that. Lots of good resources there on PBS Science Kids. Then we've got National Geographic Kids. Again, awesome documentary-based stuff. I like a good documentary, although I am watching some of the shows that you have suggested to me um, and some stuff that like I can't even recommend to you. But these are super cool, so you may want to take a look at this, right? Again, lots of video clip stuff, some games. There are some games, right? Um, and I know you guys are jazzed about that. All right, then we've got Wonderopolis. Now I am not gonna lie to you, I am not overly familiar with Wonderopolis. So let's take a look at this together. Assuming it loads, because you know, the whole entire world is on educational websites right now. So here's Wonderopolis, ooh. When I see math and atomic structure on the board, my anticipation is peaked, right? How much does the sky weigh? Hmm. That's super interesting and makes me think of a demonstration I can show you where I can use the sky to break a piece of wood, but we'll talk about that later. Um, okay, one more, whole bunch of stuff up here for you to investigate. This is a you job, not a me job, because you're the ones that have to fill out the Savage survey. And then we have Fun at Home from Breakout Edu. Breakout Edu, Breakout Edu. Breakout Edu. Okay, and this is divided into grade levels, right? So if we go down here, although I see a natural hazards with a fire tornado in the graphic for third grade, that might be worth your time. Grade levels are a moot point. Investigations are investigations, right? So feel free. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. All right, chemical reaction man, the earth dome, exponential express, Hmm. Personally, oh, look at that zombie outbreak, grades 9 to 12. I might have to look at that later. I'm digging camp adventure, right? And of course, anything else. So feel free to play with these two. So here's your job. Let's talk about your job. You do not have to go to all nine websites. Okay. No one's asking you to do that, but I would like for you to visit at least three. So while you're watching, I am going to post the Savage survey. Okay. So I'm going to open up the Savage survey. 
It's in a Google form. And what I'm asking you to do is rate the websites that you have visited and let me know which ones you did not visit. All right. And that is in a checkbox grid here. You'll see you can say thumbs up, meh, no, nope, no like, or I did not visit this site. And then I just need you to scroll down to the sites you did visit and give us a little info about those sites. All right. So need to edit. Need to edit. So I'm going to post this. That's your job. I think you should try to visit at least three of these websites by, oh, I don't know, Wednesday. That sounds reasonable. Okay. So please take a look. Let's see. I'm going to put it on all six classes. There's no grade on this. I'm going to set it for Wednesday. And really generally, I'm sending you out on an expedition, right? I want you to share the best things that you find because then that helps the rest of us because, you know, let's face it, it's been a little boring, right? All right, so that's for you guys. I do miss you terribly. I am going to investigate today if we can go into period level Google Meets and um, I will let you know. So remember, I'm keeping the big classroom open for everybody. Uh, so we can all talk in one place, but work will always be posted in the individual Google classrooms. Okay. <sighs> Have a great day and I'll see you again later or tomorrow. Bye. A sign, a sign. All right, guys, there it is. Get to work.